Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Masioka has called for the disbandment and the reconstitution of the Electoral Commission. Kalonzo says the Wafula Chabukati led IEBC should be sent packing and a new commission constituted by the end of this year. The Wiper leader wants a referendum by September of this year. He was making his submissions before the BBI steering committee. And our very own Sam Ogina was there. Making his submissions before the BBI task force team, the WEPA leader called for the disbandment of the three-man electoral commission. Kalonzo stating a new commission should be in place at least two years before the elections. This to give it competence to conduct a free and fair election. The IABC needs to be restructured and that we bring on board men and women who will not sell for a song the birth rights of the Kenyan people. If they are nominated by political parties, that will be most welcome. The 2017 presidential election ripped part of the Electoral Commission with at least four commissioners bolting out from their polls team. This leaving behind a battered commission led by its chairman Wafula Chebukati and two commissioners. Chebukati and team insist they meet the threshold of the minimum requirement of three commissioners to constitute a commission. But WIPA wants a new team picked in a bid to inspire confidence. And I think this should be done this year because we want a clear two years before the next election, before 2022. The commission should be in place so that they are not seen to be and you need. Kalonzo also called for a referendum which he said should be done by September of 2020. He says any extension portends a danger to the BBI report as it will be hijacked and overrun by the political noise in the 2022 succession contest. If you take it to 2021, then you better as well declare that the work of uh, the BBI steering committee will form part of the electoral campaign in 2022. I'm sure that is not your, 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 uh, the intention, and I'm quite sure that was not the intention of the appointing, appointing authority. Kalonzo's party backed the expanded governance structure with a president, deputy president, and prime minister. Wipe advocating for an executive premier who can only be removed by two-thirds majority in parliament to shield the PM's fate from being at the whims of the president. Samogina Citizen TV. Nairobi.